Dame Angela Lansbury is best remembered for her majestic voice and the captivating role she played. But she also died as a fiercely protective parent who kept her daughter away from the infamous murderer and cult leader Charles Manson. In a candid interview with the Daily Mail in 2014, Lansbury, who died on Tuesday at the age of 96, said her daughter Deirdre Shaw had been involved in the wrong crowd. It pains me to say it but, at one stage, Deirdre was in with a crowd led by Charles Manson, she was one of many youngsters who knew him, and they were fascinated, he was an extraordinary character, charismatic in many ways, no question about it. Lansbury revealed that her daughter and son Anthony had experimented with drugs. Members of the Manson family recall a cult leader gathering at the shocking DOC 50 years later. I felt accepted. Certainly, I have no doubt we would have lost one or both of our two if they hadn't been removed to a completely different milieu, she said. It started with cannabis but moved on to heroin. There were factions up in the hills above Malibu that were dedicated to deadly pursuits, Lansbury said of the children's habits. When she realized just how evil the activity was, she said I said to, husband, Peter, we have to leave, so we up sticks and moved the family to a house I found in County Cork, I was drawn to Ireland because it was the birthplace of my mother and it was also somewhere my children wouldn't be exposed to any more bad influences. Angela Lansbury, Murder, she wrote star and legendary Hollywood actress, dead at 96. Anthony pulled right out of his bad habits quite quickly, it took Deidre a little longer but she finally got married and she and her husband now live in Los Angeles, where they run their own Italian restaurant, the actress told the British outlet. Lansbury said it fills me with dread, when considering what would have happened to her children had they not started moving to Ireland. Peter and I had no idea what had been going on, but then we had no experience of drugs, we didn't know the significance of finding a pipe in a drawer, why would we, and when we did, we didn't know how to help them, nor were there any experts back then who could offer advice to the parents of kids from good families who were using, and sometimes overdosing on, drugs. It was like an epidemic. The children of Lansbury wrote in a statement on Tuesday that, in addition to her three children, Anthony, Deirdre and David, she is survived by three grandchildren, Peter, Catherine and Ian, plus five great-grandchildren and her brother, producer Edgar Lansbury. A private funeral will be held on a fixed date.